recent flooding in both India and Europe and droughts in the Sudan and Zimbabwe show the real effects of global warming on our climate. But how quickly will the climate change and what does the future hold for planet Earth? Scientists working at the Met Office in Exeter in the UK have devised a new range of methods that will help answer this question and predict more accurately the world climate over the next decade. We know that um, the world is going to warm uh, uh, as a result of climate change. What we don't know is all of the details of what's going to happen in the next 10, 50 or 100 years time. Um, and what this report does uh, is allows us to, um, or, or, or has looked into some of the new methods that we're going to use in the next few years to make those detailed predictions. The new methods are an important step in creating models that over the next few years will provide a comprehensive set of predictions of the future climate. And while the experts believe temperatures will be kept in check until 2009, they have reported in their papers that warming looks to speed up towards 2014. The methods in the report will allow us to do is provide the evidence um, basis that is required um, to both adapt to climate change and possibly mitigate um, its consequences. So, um, um, you know, really we're providing the, the underpinning scientific evidence uh, for the global problem of climate change. At the moment, um, we only have, if you like, um, snapshots or scenarios of what might um, happen in the future. Uh, and the problem is it's very difficult to use them in any um, kind of policy uh, of how to deal with um, climate change. With this new approach, uh, we'll be able to give a kind of risk of what might happen in the future. And that will be uh, much more useful information for the people who are wishing to deal with climate change. Knowing the magnitude, extent and impact of future climate change is key in the decision-making process of how society will adapt to and mitigate against global warming. In particular, governments need accurate scientific information before they can create effective policies to limit the impact and deal with the consequences of climate change. The Hadley Centre, uh, the Met part of the Met Office, is, is um, largely funded by the UK uh, government, by um, DEFRA, uh, and they have played a leading role, uh, if you like, in the policy uh, arena uh, uh, globally in, in dealing with climate change, uh, particularly in this case of, uh, of what we call quantifying the uncertainties or trying to determine the risk of possible um, futures. Uh, the UK has really led the, um, led, led the field in this particular endeavour. We can collaborate um, with other um, countries, scientists in other countries, uh, to build up a kind of consensus uh, picture or gather the best information about um, climate change. And then that information can then be passed on to the, to the governments for them to decide what to do. Whatever the future holds, scientists are sure the climate will get warmer and wetter. They say the problem needs a global solution with everyone joining in together in their efforts to reduce warming.